I've had a hope desisting for about a month now. So, let me just talk casually about how it's been. First impression, yeah, it's pretty heavy. But honestly, with the rings on, it's only about half kilogram lighter than the 60 SA. Yes, you can see wow, it's heavy. Or you can see they didn't chip out at around 3.5 kilos. Most most handily, it's just fine. For us to imagine, it's not a problem. But if you want to handhold it like a big lens, uh, good luck. Then I noted the focusing travel is insanely short. With 55 mm back focus, the focuser sticks out only about 3 mm. The good part is, focus is rock solid. The downside, forget using a diagonal. If you want to visual, you plug the eyepiece straight in. Most of the expansion is through this handle. You can mount a guide skip, but I didn't use it. I put a 662 camera on for IR shots. The best part is, it can go straight onto a photo tripod. No quick release plate needed. But the original orientation is super unbalanced. So I flipped it around. Now it carries perfectly and feels great. The dear share size entirely. Kind of like a fancy camera lens. It locks with mag lens, which is cool. There's a tiny bit of play, very extended, but nothing crazy. And that's great, Chris. Perfect spot for our dual heater. The rotator feels good. Just make sure you fire the rings it tight first. Otherwise, you might loosen the whole thing by accident. Some people say rotation effects tilt. I tested with the 5.85, and honestly, I didn't see much. Weather's been terrible, so I didn't get many chances to shoot. Here's an 84-minute HRF cocoon nebula from my rooftop. Small sensor still handles small target grid. Sharp details, tiny stars. But yes, you will notice a bit of tilt in the corners, so you do need to turn tail properly. Then here's IC1805. This is what it looks like after tilt adjustment. Three hours exposure. Small sensor can't fit the whole heart, but the quality is great. All these images are just stretched. No other processing. FWHM is around 1.6 in 5 minute subs, which surprised me. And when I is tiny on a small sensor, you can almost skip flat. Here's full frame shot from Mr. Chu, taken in Brutal 8, Shanghai. After proper tilt turning, the colors look like this. Pretty insane. This is right up. This is left down. This is right down. So, to wrap it up, great optics, solid build, lots of powerful details, not great for visual, and f4.66 is definitely tail sensitive. So, you must use the tail plate, and Nina makes calibration easy. Once it's dialed in, it's impressive. All right, that's my one month berries. Follow my channel, please. See you in the next one. Goodbye.